It might be shocking to some, but advertisers are lying to us. Well, kind of. While many beverages claim to be 100% juice, some may not be. That's because 100% juice doesn't necessarily mean what you might think it means. So what does it mean? And why are advertisers allowed to market it that way? Reading the label of a beverage can be a bit confusing. For example, what's sodium benzoate? One thing that seems super clear is that this is 100% real juice. But as is usually the case when assuming, we'd be wrong. You see, not all juices are made equal. Today we have 100% juice, juice from concentrate, and drinks that are considered beverages, cocktails, and drinks. So it's a little easy to get confused. But step back just a few decades, and it wasn't always so difficult to determine if something was real juice or not. Prior to the invention of modern refrigeration, juices were freshly squeezed at home. But today, defining juice is a bit more complicated. The FDA has a whole process for it. It defines juice as the aqueous liquid expressed or extracted from one or more fruits or vegetables. The juice pressed from a batch of lemons would give you 100% lemon juice. It could be fortified with calcium or say vitamin D, but nothing that changes the makeup of what the actual fruit juice is. That means that anything that contains additives, preservatives, or additional colors falls out of this category. Now you have your juice, but who or what determines if it's 100% juice? Enter the brick system. This is the FDA's tool for measuring the sugar contents of a drink. In simpler terms, the brick system measures the amount of sugar dissolved in water. For orange juice, for example, the FDA says that orange juice, for it to be 100% juice, it would have a BRICS level of 11.8 degrees. To put that into context, grape juice is 16, pineapple juice is 12.8, and cranberry juice is 7.5. BRICS really will tell you um, how sweet it's going to be. It's not really density, it's not alcohol, um, but uh, the higher the BRICS value, the sweeter the liquid solution. So why do we have this process? We can blame that on the introduction of orange aids and orange drinks. These drinks were so prevalent that in 1964, Sunkist filed a petition proposing the redefinition of what we identify as juice. The proposal specified standards for beverages made from citrus fruits. There was a concern that consumers were gonna get confused between orange juice and say orangeade or an orange drink, which didn't contain actual oranges as opposed to orange juice, which did. No longer could orangeade or orange drink brands market themselves as juice. Even after the juice companies won their naming wars, they still used a few unique tricks that were only somewhat dishonest. 100% juice is fruit juice that is made up of 100% liquid fruit. But just because it says 100% apple juice on the label doesn't necessarily mean you're only drinking apples. Oftentimes, to make high-end products more affordable, companies dilute their drinks with cheaper juices, typically white grape, apple, or pear juice. Take this bottle of grapefruit juice. It's labeled 100% juice, but if you flip it over and read the ingredients, you might be surprised to find grape juice concentrate and apple juice concentrate. The finished product is still considered 100% fruit juice. It just may not be the juice from the fruit you thought you were drinking. The easiest way to find out exactly what you're drinking is to flip that bottle over and check out the ingredient list. Chances are you'll find more ingredients than the front label led you to believe. 